hi guys so i've just decided right now that i'm gonna make a vlog of this whole trip because this is quite an exciting trip but um we are actually on our way right now to la to los angeles and we've been invited out there by the dino award team which is insane and i'm supposed to be doing some co-hosting with prince harry which is crazy i'm starting the vlogging process now because i've realized that i've been really bad on my vlogs these days and you guys are always asking like what i do and what my work is and this is part of my work i'm a young leader i'm a youth advocate girls education activist speaker all that jazz so anyway part of that is doing traveling a lot of traveling and then i'm gonna make my way so come with me to la to do a speaking engagement with prince harry Guys, we've arrived we've checked in i've looked so cool in the airport just rolling through my glasses but now i'm here can i just chill it's so weird being here knowing that i'm going to be living here very very soon like i'm actually going to be moving here in 67 days so i think it makes this whole experience a little bit different because i'm like and obviously being here with the diner award team and knowing that i'm here to like talk to prince harry that's crazy Good morning guys and welcome to the first day of me being in Los Angeles. So I began doing work on my laptop, on the business stuff in the UK, did my bed. I mean it doesn't look so tidy right now but I promise you it is. Um, open up these windows which oh, they are so gorgeous. I just oh, love that. Now I'm about to head down to go and have breakfast. Lift, we're going to breakfast. If someone comes with this lift now I will just die. So now we are heading down downtown LA, gonna give my dog see ya! Back and I'm running late. I need to actually be at filming to pre-film before we have Prince Harry tomorrow, so I need to hurry up. <laughs> now it's the race to get ready. I don't know why I do this to myself every time. Like all that jogging, walking around, sightseeing, I could have been taking my sweet time. Watch me go from this. Two. Hey friends, I'm ready. I'm dressed for rehearsals. This is not my like official outfit for the Prince Harry thing. It's just rehearsals. Look cute. I think I think this is good. I don't know if I turn my hair up or down. I leave it for now. Okay, I've apparently arrived. I'm um, all very excited. A bit nervous. <laughs> so we're now at the shooting location place, and we're doing a little run through before tomorrow. I have my glasses, so I'm just trying to like style it out, but I can see clearly. It's fine. And um, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> Anyway, rehearsals was great. Um, I can't believe that the Duke of Sussex is gonna be sitting next to me tomorrow. About me. <laughs> this is insane. Um, I'm just over the moon in ways I can't explain and I can't wait for you guys to know about it and for it to come out. Um, so, yeah. Hey guys, my face is done. I think it looks cute. Um, it's time for me to now get dressed because I'm running out of time. I can't even have breakfast. I'm very late, but I wanted to show you the full outfit because I think it's, I think it's giving. Hi everyone. So I'm so excited to introduce you to one of my favorite people ever, my mentor, <laughs> Dr. Tori. Hey. And um, hi, and it's so beautiful to be here today celebrating the 2023 Diana Awards ceremony. And for me, it's very nostalgic because when I won my Diana Legacy Award, that's when I met Dr. Tori and she was one of the judges that had decided on who was gonna win that year. So I felt like she was like, my angel is watching. I've been the worst vlogger today. It's been the most hectic day. <laughs> Prince Harry just left. He was so nice. We like, oh, I, I oh, honestly can't put it into words. I try to, but I can't. He was so sweet. We had the loveliest of conversations. He He's just such a nice down to earth person. I cannot believe that that happened. Um, like, 
Wow. I can't wait to move to Los Angeles. And, um, yeah, I'm very quickly realizing that life is crazy and I'm so grateful and everything like that. Okay, so that I don't have to keep going on about it. Here's a video of me and Prince Harry. I now have the honor of introducing my second co-host for today, V. Like Hannah, received her Legacy Award in 2021. She's a passionate advocate, campaigning endlessly for diversity within higher education, challenging her own institutions and sharing her message through news channels and volunteer work. Thank you so much, Cal. I'm excited to be here and meet more of our young changemakers. The challenges we face in society today require fresh perspectives, innovative solutions, and I firmly believe that each one of us has the power to make a real difference. I also have a very special guest sitting next to me, a strong advocate for young people driving change. Please welcome Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Thank you, V, for the very, uh, the very warm welcome. It's a pleasure to be here today celebrating the incredible achievements of young people who embody the spirit of the Diana Award. V, I'm especially honoured to have the chance to speak with you again. Your dedication to equality and justice has inspired many, including myself. Thank you. The feeling truly is mutual. Changing the world must be a collective global effort with everyone playing their role and utilising the platforms that they have. Well, sometimes it's easy to question one's ability to make a difference, and your point about change for the better as a collective force is so important. When someone steps up to be of service, they automatically join this collective. No one is ever a conduit for change alone. Each one of us has the ability to help create a more equitable world, and the brilliant award recipients we're honouring today are proof of that. They exemplify the notion that when we use our voices, change really can happen. And I completely agree that the world is a challenging place to navigate, but my strength comes from knowing that my voice can change things for the better. A strength shared with all the award recipients being recognised today. Absolutely, Evie. Your voice is a powerful voice. As we come together, I am reminded of the profound belief that my mother held in the transformative power of young people. She recognised their unique ability to challenge the status quo and push for a more inclusive and compassionate society. Her legacy continues to inspire and serve as an example of how to navigate the complexities of our world today. So many of the numerous challenges that we face disproportionately affect young people and, of course, their futures. And whether it's climate change, mental well-being or systemic injustices, the obstacles can sometimes seem overwhelming. But what gives me hope is the collective power we possess when we work together the strength in diversity of voices and perspectives that encompass it. And you're absolutely right. Thank you for all that you do to help elevate our voices and champion our work. It's now time to introduce you to some of our 2023 award recipients. Will you do the honours? I would love to, it would be my absolute pleasure. The next set of award recipients include an advocate for inclusiveness and voice for disabled individuals, a not-for-profit founder who has donated over $192,000 worth of brand new books to more than 18,000 preschool children globally, wow. and a passionate individual dedicated to raising awareness and recognition for eating disorders and body dysmorphia. Let's see who else is receiving a Diana Award. It is so great to see. Hope you guys enjoy it so I don't have to keep going on about it. 
I have my salad, I'm going home, it's time for me to go back to my hotel. Um, I just, this feels so surreal, but yeah. Before I leave, I have to like, you know, do the bed. <laughs> time to go, bye bye LA, thank you so much for coming on this vlog with me, I hope it was good, I hope it was helpful. Um, yeah, just sit down, young leader, over.